century France. I am Viscountess Hodierna Mirigli of Lynn Cluden. The Dark Ages are alive and well in rural Pennsylvania. The reason? It's the Society of Creative Anachronism's annual joust. This beats the heck out of bar fights. Let the games begin on Amazing America. Kevin Nealon, welcome to Amazing America. Camelot, Brigadoon, Avalon, Pensick, Pennsylvania. That's right, Pensick, a mythic land that is annually created out of the imaginations of thousands of Americans. You might call it the Myth America pageant, but watch how loudly you say that, for unless you want to feel the steel of a knight in cardboard armor, you better keep your opinions to yourself. It was a time of kings and queens. Lords and ladies, damsels in distress, knights, minstrels, and court jesters. Every August in Cooper's Lake, Pennsylvania, a time warp sends us back into the Dark Ages, a time loosely spanning the fall of Rome to the Renaissance. For two weeks, the medieval tent city is formed as thousands of society members relive the past. Their costumes and armor are handmade, their research into their adopted characters impeccable, and their commitment total. This is Penzik. We have between seven and 10,000 people here, which makes us larger than London for most of our period of study, which ends at the year 1600. We focus on all parts of the world, primarily Western Europe, but not exclusively. We have used this site for, I believe, 19 years. This is the 23rd Penzik War, and it's grown from a three-day event into two weeks and the whole county knows we're coming every year. I write technical manuals for a uh, manufacturer of commercial electronics equipment it's used by the cable television industry. I have a degree in accounting and have done auditing. Currently, I am a professional security officer. I'm a naval officer, and uh, it's a unique hobby to have for people in my line of work, although you find quite a few uh, military personnel that are part of it. We have people in government. We have doctors, lawyers, judges, professionals. But for most society members, they are no longer plumbers or brain surgeons. My name is Catherine D'Anjou. I am from 15th century France. Um, from a town near Agincourt. My father lost all his lands in the Battle of Agincourt against the English. In the society of Kamaskacha. I belong to a household known as the Great Dark Horde, which is a Mongol house, household based on the uh, Mongol horde of Genghis Khan. Indeed, my lord, we enjoy the music of Dowland and other composers. People are very fond of recorder because it's easy to carry and fairly easy to learn. Not only are the people in character, so are their household camps. The Ethel Mark Kingdom Steering Committee will be available for meeting with the populace. Most society members busy themselves with activities such as period sports. For example, William Tell wannabes sharpen their skills for the archery tournament. If one enjoys swashbuckling, whatever that is, you'll probably find it at Pensick. For those less aerobically minded, there's always the medieval mall. Queens, bring your coffers, your cash, and your coaches. Tanguistos conducting a royal spending spree. She's challenged the East Realm to a battle of bargains. She'll out Dicker Catherine in Tent Shop or Street. So summon the haggler and grab the exchequer. The Queen's going shopping at Penzik today. Her wagon is laden with gold, milk, and butter. Tanguistos will triumph in this tourney of trade. Like this is seldom for one young couple, this year's gathering is special. Just be happy for my lady and me and for our great love. My name is Leon of Clan Prashan. And I'm Kai of Clan Prashan. And this year we'll be getting married tonight at a hand fasting ceremony held in the camp. And they take your two hands and they bind them together, sort of like the bonds of marriage. 
and then you're married. <laughs> Every U.S. state is part of a different mythical kingdom, and after the wedding, the various kingdoms go to war. We fight for crown and kingdom, for glory shall we die. We're going to put the mid-round down, or at least we're going to try. The two weeks culminate in a massive 3,000-member field battle. This gives me a legal, safe, societally acceptable way of releasing these things that we don't have a place for in our society. You know, my, my wife and I have this concept of the dangerous man or the dangerous woman. There's some of us need this. Our mission is to stop their right-hand unit from flanking. We must engage them head on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is a fight to the finish. The army with the most left standing wins, and a new king and queen chosen. Score is kept on the honor system, and honor prevails. If a knight receives what would have been a fatal blow, he must lie down. Marshals stand by to keep things safe. Periodically, action is halted to allow the dead to clear the battlefield and allow wenches to water their knights. And then, the fighting begins again. Afterwards, the king and queen honor the victors. My lordies, it is the opinion of these, your peers, that you have shown the qualities of spirit and honor, of courtesy, of speed on the field, <laughs> and a good right rap that betoken a member of our most noble order of the chivalry. Your Majesty. <laughs> Although some society members say they would rather have lived back then, others are happy just to spend a few days living out the fantasy. Do I prefer this to the 20th century world? No. I really am fond of things like hot showers, antibiotics, and central heating. On the other hand, we've lost in the 20th century the values of courtesy, which is not opening doors, but it's taking a real conscientious effort to do what is best to make the world a better place. Oh, you take the high road, and I'll take the low road, and I'll get to Penzik before ye. And then me and me and friends, well, we all will meet again round the bonny, bonny campfires of Penzik. <laughs> 